How's it going? Kevin Tofin and Neil Brooks here at the Darley booth. We're looking at the 2017 demonstration truck. So Neil, I know there's a lot of different trucks within the industry that a fire department could buy, but why and what are some examples of why this truck is a great purchase for a fire department? Well, first off, one of the design concepts with the WASP is to bring like a large fire truck on a small platform, uh, one for budget reasons, and the other thing is it has capabilities of getting into places a normal truck wouldn't get. Okay. Uh, the other thing is, because of the smaller platform, we take advantage of the Darley Auto Caps, which expands the usefulness of our water. This does have capabilities for performance of a 1901 Class A pumper, okay. which means it has at least a 750 pump, which this one is twice that. It's a and so this is a full calf system right here? Absolutely. This is a 1500 GPM pump on this with the Darley Auto Calf system. Mm -hmm. We have 300 gallons of water on it, 30 gallons of Class A foam. Okay. Uh, it can bed up to 800 feet of supply hose. It has a complement of ladders, and we can change some of the ladder arrangements. What's the point of this camera? right here and what's that doing? Well the camera, uh, this one happens to be a curbside pump panel so we have a street side camera so the operator can see what's happening on the opposite side of the truck and it can be integrated into our other system which allows us a full 360. And, and why curbside? What's Why is that important these days? One of the biggest things with curbside for anybody that's uh, attended any of the TIMS classes or the traffic incident management class is that we're doing a lot on highway response to increase the safety for all the people, including the first responder. So with the TIMS uh, program in mind, we've done a lot of things to fire trucks like Chevron striping, emergency lighting, gotcha. to make it more aware for any of the oncoming traffic. Okay. But traditionally, the pump panel being on the driver's side still placed the operator in, gotcha. the, in traffic lane. So it makes so, it a lot safer for the firefighter during Absolutely. Operation. Our concept is to bring the engine operator out of the traffic pattern into a safety uh, so zone of safety. What, what else about this truck? What, what about the, the body? The, the body is a poly body, which is sl slightly less weight. But uh, one of the features of the poly body, it comes with its independent subframe, a floating okay. subframe, isolates it from some of the torsion and cracking you get with normal metal bodies okay. that are attached to the frame rails of the truck. Um, again, lighter weight, but uh, we're able to do some things that are unique in the industry, and one of them is to give a lifetime warranty on the body. Wow. Uh, it's impervious to rust or corrosion, which is a key element, especially in areas where you use salt or have salt water spray. A uh, couple things with the poly body it allows us to do some different configurations, same as metal. Yeah. And if the doors were shut on this, you'd have no idea that this is, nice. is not a metal body.